talking about my favorite foundation right now, which is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. And I have had a lot of questions about what foundation I use, and I think a lot of people are shocked to find that I wear a powder foundation. I'm kind of like a foundation serial user, meaning I go through like 82,000 foundations and try every one to try to see which one I like, but I have been hooked on this one lately. This foundation retails for $30, uh, which is pricey. I am in the color Camel, number 17. And this would be good for y'all out there that have warm undertones, medium to tan skin. And you open it up, it's a cute mirror here, so when you're touching up, ooh, you can see my camera. When you're touching up during the day, you can um, just use this. You don't have to have like a mirror in front of you. And also, underneath here, it comes with like a little puff. And this thing's not horrible. Like, I don't recommend putting on your entire foundation with this, but if you're in a crunch and you need to touch up during the day and you forgot another kind of brush to use, this really isn't that bad. So I think this foundation would be good for people with oily skin or combination skin. But if you have dry skin, I don't know if this would work for you, honestly. Uh, I think you could try it with a really good moisturizer. I honestly don't know. I think it could cling to some of your dry patches. So I was just looking up some claims about this foundation. Um, oh my gosh, it has horrible reviews online. Bare Minerals website has a 2.8. I swear y'all, if they go out of this foundation, that'd be so sad. So, Bare Minerals, those people are lying, it's great. So it says it's buildable and breathable, agree and agree, which is why I love Bare Minerals because they have a way of somehow making these magical products that are natural looking but also full coverage. It is long wearing coverage. I definitely agree with this. I would say, because I have super oily skin, you probably get about 10 hours of good wear with this foundation with touch-ups. All my oily skin girls out there, I know you get me. I know you understand. It has a super smooth skin texture. I do agree with that. I think it really does help my skin look just smooth. Um, it kind of gives you that airbrushed look so I'm gonna zoom up close so y'all can get a better view. Kind of like smooths out my skin. I, you can't really tell my pores, and I have really big pores. So I really like that. Um, it still looks natural looking. So let's go ahead and get into the demo and you can see how I apply this foundation and what my skin looks like before and after and just how well it covers. I always start out by priming my skin and I'm obsessed with Dr. Brandt's pore no more. Pores no more. Primer. And just press that into my skin. And I also use Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. And I'm just going to press that where my pores are most noticeable. And the key with primers is you definitely want to let it sit in your skin for about a minute. Just let it absorb before you apply your foundation. I found that this really helps to lock in my foundation for the entire day. Now that I let my primer set, I always conceal my under eyes next. With powder foundation, I found that it just works better for me if I do my under eye concealer first instead of after putting the foundation on. And I'm in the shade Medium Light, and this is Urban Decay's Naked Skin Concealer. I like to apply it in like an upside down triangle underneath my eye. And to blend it out, I use my Real Techniques sponge and I use the flat ended side. And then I move on to foundation. I've tried a few brushes out with this foundation. My favorite brush to use is the It Cosmetics brush. I believe it's the Air Blurring Foundation brush. It's a flat top brush. And I just start by pressing it into my foundation. And then I do uh, buffing motions, and I think they say to you start on the outside of the face. I like starting on the inside because that's where I need the most coverage, I feel like. Uh, so let's do the side that has like the most problem areas going on. So the key is just using a small amount on your brush to start out and just really buff it into your skin. I know a lot of people feel like they can't get the same amount of coverage with powder foundations, but if you really let it warm into your skin, at least with bare mineral foundations, I found that it just really melts into your skin and you can build up the coverage, but a lot of people will just put a ton on their brush and then just keep going and going and going. 
and they get a really cakey look and then they are frustrated thinking it's just the powdered foundation. So there's one tiny layer. I am gonna add another one. I'm just gonna dip my brush in there again. I always bring my foundation down my neck because I never want my face to be a different color than my neck. It helps to conceal any blemishes you have going on. Still have a few you can peek that are peeking through here and here. And in that case, if y'all want to get more coverage, you can take the same foundation. This is Bare Minerals Max Coverage Concealer Brush. You just stick your little brush and just pat it on there and then just go on to any areas. And I suggest just going right over the actual blemishes you're wanting to cover. Don't put it everywhere. All right, and that is the foundation for you guys. I think you can see it gives you a matte finish, but it still looks natural. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay guys, so that is the full look. I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope that this foundation works for you. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna try this out or you're gonna try this out. And also, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe, please, 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 so you don't miss any future videos. And don't forget to check out my last video I will do a link below and it's all about why my skin is breaking out and what I'm doing to fix that. Non, doesn't cause breakouts. No one's gonna subscribe to you if you can't talk. For real, like why did I decide not to do my hair?